Hello everybody, it's the Soap Peasant here with episode 2 in the Emotion Soap series. Uh, once again, I want to say thank you to fellow YouTube channels, uh, Surviving Narcissism, Dr. Todd Grande, and Dr. Romani for such great information about identifying this personality in others. What makes it so difficult is they're very good at lying and hiding and it can make you doubt your own reality. That's crazy making. That's called gaslighting. You can even catch them in a lie and they will turn it around to make you believe that you didn't see what you saw, you didn't hear what you heard, or know what you know to be the truth. They're undercover control freaks, basically, that hide in the shadows and look for people that have soft hearts and nothing but goodwill, and they feed off that. So let's shine some light, some light of truth, on this Dirty Tricks personality trait. And so here is my interpretation of the covert narcissist. We'll begin with rather a toxic color base. They have a, a poor self-image and very low self-esteem and yet outrageous cockiness. Even when they're clearly in the wrong, let's lay down a rocky bottom to this soap to represent their past. They most likely have past relationship problems. Uh, they dislike their co-workers, uh, somebody that's done them wrong according to them. They're always blameless, uh, but they oftentimes have problems dealing with other people, especially in relationships, often at work. This embed is the gaslight, covert narcissist's signature move. The lies and subterfuge may change, but the intent is the same, to get you to doubt yourself so that they can hide their own unsavory deeds. And there are lies all around. Oftentimes, you can sense trouble building. You can see it coming, but they'll insist they're fine and it must be you. We'll add the storm clouds now.
The scent I'm using is a floral because there's usually some flowery false contrition to draw you back in. It's just another tactic to control the narrative of Mr. or Mrs. Nice Guy. Don't fall for it because you won't win. On top of all of the uh, other things that you'd be dealing with, with a covert narcissist, how about some unnecessary lies? Stupid lies. Lies about everything. All different kinds of things. Why lie? Who knows? You'll never find out. But they will. They will lie about the the dumbest, smallest things that that don't make any difference at all. That's just conversational. And of course, asking questions is completely out of order. None of your business. It's quite an offense to ask any questions. But they'll lie about silly things like they'll say they're going to go to the store and, and get a couple of things. And then they're gone for three hours. And you say, gosh, I was getting worried about you. Where'd you go besides the store? They'll say, uh, I don't know. I don't remember. I wasn't anywhere. I went to the store. Why are you asking me all these questions? What were you doing while I was at the store? And you're just going, Ugh, hey. But that's the way it works. Because they will just lie about the silliest things. What'd you have for lunch? And they'll lie about it. And you know good and well that they're lying. But that's just part of the whole deal. So here's a bunch of unnecessary, stupid lies. To top it off, how about some murky excuses? That's what we got right here. We got some, some murky excuses. Here's what it looks like. You can see the gas light right there. And here's the bottom with that rocky past. Now I'm going to do something that I've actually never done before. <laughs> As cool as I think it looks, I'm going to glaze it. And so the surface of this soap is going to be cloaked in a neutral color because covert narcissists prefer to be under the radar to the outside world. Even though they're unholy terrors in personal relationships, that's not the mask that they wear to the world. So they want to be incognito until you take the job and then you find out or you get involved in a relationship and then you find out it's keeping it hidden until the right time so let's get this thing glazed see how it works out and here we go with the neutral disguising glaze so that you can't see what's underneath by the way I've never done this before so it's you and me against the world of soap. Mm -hmm. Isn't it a shame to cover that up? Because it looks so cool. Looks like a bit of a mess before we get it cut up, doesn't it? <laughs> well, it is a mess. It certainly is. It's a mess if you have to work with it. It's a mess if you have to deal with it. This is one of the most discouraging personality disorders, for sure. I mean, look, if, if you have a covert narcissist in your life, you got lemons. 
and there's there's no prime rib coming from that just remember there are no problems too big to be solved there's simply people too small to solve them and covert narcissists are too small let's get this sliced up <laughs>